everybody today we're gonna look at a lot that I got of salt and pepper shakers so uh, I buy from an auction and actually these came from Kastner auctions and they're the auction company that did the big uh, auction for Curiosity Inc. If you don't know who Curiosity Inc. is, it's the Archbold family and they live in the same city as I do, which is Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And um, certainly take a look at their uh, YouTube channel. They have some great stories to tell. What they do is, along with everything else, including the store they have, uh, they um, buy homes that have all kinds of different um, things in them and then they they get a big haul and then they sell them on the auction so they just recently had a big auction sale and did very very well for themselves so take a look at Curiosity Inc take a look at some of the people out there that are doing uh, their own YouTube channels where they're doing unboxings of some of the things they got, some of the vintage items they got from the uh, Kastner auction auction for <laughs> Curiosity Inc. Anyway, this is not from the Curiosity Inc. auction, but it is from Kastner Auctions. So this, I do buy from them and then resell everything on my Etsy store. This was a salt and pepper shaker lot that I bought. I'm gonna say that I spent, I think it was $10 on this lot. And as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 sets of salt and pepper shakers. So we're gonna go through them and see what you think of them. So let's start over here. I'm gonna push them back a little bit. Sorry about the glare on my desk see that glare I'll try and cover that up <laughs> see what we can do about that but anyways here is the first set so they are from British Columbia Canada uh, as you probably know I'm a Canadian and I'm from Alberta Canada which is next door to British Columbia these salt and pepper shakers are so cute because they're like a cut log cut wood which is what BC is known for in Canada we look at them as our um, logging province and BC is very full of trees and um, so this is really pretty it's got the mountains in the background uh, and a beautiful totem pole with the bird so there's the one and then this one's the same so there's one set of the totem poles from British Columbia Second set, I love these. I think they're adorable because they're from the 70s, I would say, 60s, 70s. And this is actually real wood. So it is wood. I don't know if you can see the wood grain there, but it is wood. See the bottom, it's got a wood stopper. And I don't know if you probably can't see that, but it's at the very top above the red stopper. It says Japan there. Okay, so there's there's the S and the P. And if you look on the tops, there's an S and there's the P. So I think they're really adorable. They probably came as a um, Karat set with, um, they probably had a little stand, but don't have the stand anymore but they're adorable I think they're really cute next would be these guys on the top there and then if you look at the front they are a London souvenir they actually say London souvenir on them and they're in really good shape considering um, that they are vintage so if you see they've got all the different places you'd want to visit as a traveler so at the top St. Paul's Cathedral. Down here we have Piccadilly Circus. Of course, 
Big Ben. And on this side, the Tower Bridge. Oh, and in the middle, sorry, in the middle, of course, Buckingham Palace and the changing of the guard. So these are ceramic. They've got their stoppers and they're really cute. Just for a fun salt and pepper shaker in your house. All right, these guys are very cute with their little handles. And they kind of have that stoneware kind of look to them. They're Niagara Falls and the Canada side. So Niagara Falls, Canada. And if you can see, they've got the boat there that you get to take to the bot to the falls. To the you get apparently you get soaking wet when you're on that boat, but you get to come right up to the falls. It's called the Maid of the Mist. And my family and I are planning on taking a vacation to Niagara Falls this year. We're hoping. Uh, with COVID, you never know what's going to happen, but our hope is this July we'll head and do a major road trip across Canada and we're planning to get to Niagara Falls. So these guys, I believe, have their stoppers. Yes, they do. I'm trying to be careful when I turn these guys upside down because in the past, when I bought salt and pepper shakers, I went like this to look at the stopper and they still had salt in it and I poured salt all over the table. Oh, there is a little bit of salt that's coming out of some of these. All right, these guys I really love. And the reason I love them is the older the better for me. And they come from the period that is my favorite, which is the Victorian period, turn of the century, uh, time and they're hand painted you can see the top there with the gold hand paint it almost looks like a snowflake and then this one has it too slightly smaller but look at these delicate delicate little flowers that are hand painted on here with the gold trim which a lot of it has worn off here a little bit and even around the sides, you can see it's, it is raised, so I can see how it would wear off. You can actually feel it raised along here. And then this one. But look at these pretty pink and blue flowers. They're gorgeous. And even though the gold is a little worn, they're still really pretty. The wooden stopper, and I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it does say, I'm just going to look, oh my goodness, my eyes. Let me look at the other one. Oh, this one's better. Hand painted Nippon, it says. So Nippon, if you don't know, is Japan. Uh, if you, now do not quote me because I am certainly not an expert. As uh, Sam says at Thrift You, I'm a kindergarten baby when it comes to vintage things but um nippon is japan and it is i want to say 1920s um but that's a complete guess because there was nippon and then if you have something that says noritake on it that's more recent than nippon and then of course if it says occupied japan that's post world war ii and then of course things will say made in japan which is like 60s, 70s. So Nippon is kind of the oldest of those uh, different eras. So this one, I, I believe, is, is, you know, 1920s or earlier. So I really love these. And I think they're delicate and beautiful and definitely from that era. Same kind of style as you would find uh, at that time. So these are worth every penny of the dollar that I on average that I paid for those. All right, look at these cute little lighthouses. One with the blue top, one with the red top. And these are from Quebec in Canada, of course. And this one says, now don't judge me for my French, but la... Belin Matin, and then QUE, which is Quebec. So La Belin is um, the is a whale. So, and then Matin is a town on the Saint Lawrence River, 
which would make sense that they would have a lighthouse on. So uh, I think they're really cute and they would make great decor for your seaside or lakeside uh, cottage or cabin. And they both have, if you can see it there, they both say Japan on the bottom and they both have their stoppers. Look at these cute little guys. So these are porcelain or, you know, ceramic. The stoppers are missing, but look at how beautiful the gold is. And it's kind of got like a, almost like a rough finish. At first I thought they were what they call, I think that it's called weeping gold. But I don't think it's weeping gold. It's just got a really cool finish to it. So they're really tiny. Like your average salt and pepper shaker would be like, like this guy. So you can see height wise. They're small. But I think they're really cool. And they'd be great in a, like a, that, that era of like the Hollywood Regency gold, black and gold metallic style decor. A couple of cute little California. I don't know how old these guys are, but just some California souvenir salt and peppers. They're cute with their little, um, pedestal on the bottom and they have their stoppers now <laughs> these are the weirdest thing I've ever seen I have no idea what they're supposed to be um, they look like cupboards uh, uh, like a bedside table a drawer I, like I don't even know look they've got even little feet on them like I have no idea what these are supposed to be they are salt and pepper shakers though. Look, they've got the tops on them, like the holes on the top. And they're just plain around the sides. They're huge, like really big compared to all the others that I have. And on the bottom, let's see if you can see this. Let me see if, do I have that upside down? I do, just a sec. There we go. All right, if you can read that, Boldman, what does it say? Boldman Morgan. And then the logo says Lego, L-E-G-O, which I know is a Japanese company. Um, if you have any idea what these are supposed to be, and if they're worth anything, let me know in the comments below because I have no idea what they're supposed to be. Any guesses would even be great. So just let me know what you think these are. And then I have these guys. This is the last of the lot. And um, this one, you can read it better, but they say sack assault, sack assault. So they're literally a burlap bag with the shaker uh, holes on the top. There is a stopper and I believe it says made in Taiwan. If you can read that. Taiwan? Yeah, Taiwan, made in Taiwan. So usually you get a sack of salt and a sack of pepper, but somehow this set is two sacks of salt. <laughs> So, you know, usually you use your salt more than your pepper. So why wouldn't you have two sacks of salt, right? I mean, you could put pepper in one of them for sure. But I've had some interest in these, which I was surprised with. I guess they're kind of a thing. Because people are actually searching specifically for sack of salt, salt and pepper shakers. So there you go. They're they're pretty large as well. They're They're a good size. So here you have it my really weird salt and pepper shakers the sack of salts and then here's the other sets you can see and those were from the auction if you have interest in any of these if you want to buy them if you have any questions about them make sure you just drop me a comment and i will contact you and we can discuss um, they're all priced very reasonably. 
And um, that is all for today. So if you would like to subscribe so you can find out more about, you know, make sure that you're aware when I put any other videos out, make sure you do that. I'd love to have more subscribers. I'm, my goal right now is 50 subscribers because I'm just brand new. And I'm a baby at all of this. So if you can help me out with that goal, that'd be great. Once you've subscribed, it shows a little bell and you click the bell and then it will actually notify you whenever I put a new video out. I try to put a video out every Friday morning and it's usually going to be about vintage things if you... Um, notice that every once in a while I might put something up more about my family or some you know personal um, my life kind of stories but generally it's going to be about vintage things and about our little company Big Sky Country Finds and um, also make sure that you comment or you give me a thumbs up that would be great all right guys thank you and have a good day see you next week